Hey guys, Swamp Picker here, week 12 of 2018 garage sales uh, for Friday and Saturday. So let's start off um, with Friday. Had a church sale and all that. And here are a couple of things I found. Um, first item I found was these New Balance shoes. Super clean and all that. I'll probably list them on eBay and also put on Poshmark. Poshmark does have flat rate shipping, so like $6.75. You know, I can ship these. And the soles are really good shape, so if you look real good, you know, in really good shape, super clean. I just need, like you said, wipe it down a little bit, get that little more pizzazz to it. Next item I found was these Nike golf shoes, which are fairly clean. They need to wipe down. I haven't wiped them down yet, and all that. And all that. And like I said, I only paid two bucks for them, paid two dollars for the Nikes. Soles are pretty good. I think they make a little tool or something. These are little deals. They aren't like real steel cleats, so they do come undone, screw in some way, and they are replaceable and all that. So, got those. Next item I found was these Doc Martens. Um, I've never seen soles like this. Usually, they got that little weird symbol on the bottom and all that, but I, you, know, you can tell they are Doc Martens and all that. Uh, I think this is the one I kind of cleaned with a rag, and the other one I didn't. So, I don't know, I don't know how much really I'll get for them, but these are made in Vietnam. You know, usually I, I was thinking they were made in um, England, whatever, from looking at them, but they're not. But, you know, I have sold some ones that were made in England before, so. My next item, let me find it. Uh, get to it. Da -da -da. Okay, I found these two Legos, same church sale. It was in the very back, you know, like I said, you know, that little Lego, Lego syndrome is easy to spot, you know, especially for us pickers and all that. This one gets a little bit more money than Batman and you know, all that versus the little Star Wars, um, they call it droid, um, buildable fi fi um, figures by um, Disney. And they were sealed, so that's a plus, and I paid $2 each for those. Um, same garage sale. A few items I found for myself. I'm trying to find it. it was um. Da -da 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 -da. Well, not for myself, but um, I did find these. This right here, paid 50 cents for it. It's by, you know, endorsed by Brett Favre, Green Bay Packers. You know that. Brand new, never used. I don't think it's gonna get much, but it would go first class, which is kind of nice about it. You see, another item I found is these glasses. I think I got them at the church. I'm not sure exactly. I got them well, that Saturday, but it must be a three pack. No, it's a two pack. They've never been used. They normally go like $15 at CVS. And I buy spare ones and just lay them all around that way. But if I don't have them with me, I have me a spare pair of glasses somewhere. And all that. Da -da -da. Same church sale. Found these two pack blades. Even though this feels heavy, it still will go first class. So you know all that, so it won't make much, but it'll be a quick should be a, a decent quick flip. And all that. Da -da -da. And that same morning, and that garage is only right down the uh, it's only down the street from me, maybe a, a mile and a half, if that. And all that, and then on the way back with that one. Oh, I forgot to mention, I bought this too here at that church garage sale. But look, it never been used. The console on these were kind of off the chart, kind of one way. Some were high, some were low, you know what? But it looked like it was never used and all that. So, you know what? I think I got it listed for $42.95 right now, maybe. You know that, that item there. In that same garage sale, I actually found a VCR combo DVD player with the remote. And all that I don't have it here because it's kind of big. Got it in storage. I think I paid five bucks for it. So and all that and all that. So got that. Da -da 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 -da. And knee brace, ultra so forth. And that was it. And I'm on my way back to another garage sale, which was even closer to where I live. Blank Media. And all that. I only paid a dollar for all four of them. And those. And my third sale. 
I'm sorry, go back. Got something again. Same church garage sale. I bought this right here. Paid a buck. You know, if you can kind of see what it is, model number, if you're curious, you can look it up. You know what? And see what it's about, y'all. You know, it's value, but I think I'm gonna keep it for myself because, like I said, it has caller ID and I tested it. Had people call me and their name pops up on that little digital readout, which is kind of nice. I do deal with people all over the United States and world when they call us for um, shipping parts. It's kind of nice. It was missing this here and all that. And even if it was, this was involved in all that, I might have probably got 150 for it, even though I paid a buck for it. I'm gonna wipe out all the old messages so they're actually still in there, you know, and all that. So, I said, I only pay a buck, good deal. And I'll probably sell it to myself for 25 bucks at work. And they'll pay for a lot of stuff I bought, to, you know, in the garage sale in the last two days at least, and all that. Okay, let's see. And my last sale, I bought three pair of skates. And that's ice skates, and all that. So, these are kind of on the heavy side. I haven't undone them, but these are made by Rydell, I think, which makes speed skates. And I have sold speed skates before. I actually sent a pair to Czechoslovakia or somewhere in Russia. And all that. They were like $179 or so. You know. But these are pretty clean and all that. They do need to be cleaned up. But I mean, when you kind of bend them, they start to crack and all that. So I don't want to crack them too much. And all that. So I might call it like John Cincinnati Picker, but he's know a lot about sports. And these are made by Hyde here, I think. Or, or is it no? Rydell, but they got Hyde um, blade covers on them. And same, like you said, same garage sale. She was wanting like five a piece. And they had three pair and all that. So these are the men's. Pretty clean, all that. I think they were made in Canada or Minnesota and all that. So and those got like screws right, where you can replace the bottoms. These little kits right here, I'm not sure they made me a size five, but they're super, super clean. You know what? Oh, they've been only used a couple of times. If you look at the bottoms, they don't look like they've ever been used, really. Others were kind of rusted, the screws. So these are riveted here. You know what? So I think they're made in Canada here. You know, made in Canada. You know what? And the same garage sale. I took a chance on this. It's an igloo ice chest. No, actually Coleman ice chest. Made by Coleman, you know, I usually sell little igloos. And if you look for the igloo, look on the ones that say lunch made on it. You know, those are the ones that sell. Make sure it has the, the tray inside. That's what makes it valuable on the, those. But this was made in 1982. If you look on the bottoms, usually. Made in USA. And let me see, I'm trying to find a little pattern. Right down here on that corner right there. Looks like it's made in 1982. And all that. And little stickers got a little bit of damage, but... Call it Little Oscar by Coleman. You can only pay like a buck for this. Now that. Then on Saturday, oh, that, I hit a neighborhood sale, which I didn't really have much luck there. No that, but um, you reach over. I don't know if how many people, guys and girls, remember seeing this when they're growing up. But well, this is the Mach 5, speed, and then the driver was Speed Racer. It was a cartoon that came on Saturday morning. It seemed like every day. It came on actually at 7 o'clock during the school, from what I remember. And actually, these had a little compartment, a little hummingbird would come out, or like a mechanical pigeon, and all that, which is, and all that. But um, got that for myself. Only a buck. But the comps on these were they made by Jar or somebody exactly. I'm not sure exactly. You know what? The barcode wouldn't read. I tried to scan it and wouldn't. But uh, some of them were getting like 80 bucks. You know what? And the box and sold maybe like 60 or so. But I'll probably list this, but I'm going to keep it on my shelf. You know, for myself. And if it sells, it sells. So it's kind of like a childhood memory. Keeping that. So I'm going to keep that for myself. I think. Da -da -da -da. Another cool item. That same garage sale. I think I paid a buck for that. But I had three on this. And paid two for it. But Grateful Dead. I got one going off tomorrow on auction that's already up to around like 25 bucks used and all that so and all that but um well it did have a little tear right there but I don't think that's gonna really make a difference and all that but like I said it makes it like a mosaic like a 
you know, like 500 pitchers built into it or something like that, you know, thousands of pitchers and all that from this concert, but so that should sell pretty good, I think, hopefully, and all that. And if anybody watches, you know, rod flips and other people, they kind of use a clothespin for marking things. Well, I use a different color Sharpies and all that and kind of number them using my numbering system. I only paid like 25 cents for this, so I figured, hey, I'd use that. Uh, the same neighborhood cell on these roller blade wheels. They don't come with the bearings on these and all that, but um, they're more vintage and all that. But I only paid 50 cents for them, so and all that. Same neighborhood garage sale. This Oakley uh, nylon hard kind of a hard case. You know, paid 50 cents for this. And all that. And same garage sale, this jacket right here. Where I got the Mach 5 and Grateful Dead poster. You know, it, it did have a cigarette burn in it. If I could find it, yeah, you can see it right there. Perfect little hole for a cigarette burn. But it was an uh, Olympic USA 1988 team. And if you look at it, it was, it was made in USA and all that. And all that. So I only paid a buck for it and all that. I got on Poshmark. Another item I took a chance on. Um, I only paid like, I think, three bucks for it. But, you know, it shows it was made in, U made in USA and all that. I can't pronounce it. Mirror or Ramsey, Ramsey, whatever. You know, fabric from France, you know, fabric medley, and um, imported from France or something like that. But it says made in USA, so, you know, I think um, this might sell on Poshmark. It's kind of different, you know, uh, like that one. And they had another one, not as much blingy to it, but um, it still has the dry cleaning tag on it. And all that, like I said, I only paid three, so this is like a women's large and all that, so we'll find out how, how Poshmark works out on those items there. Okay, and next item, my last sale of the day, it was actually three o'clock down the street from me on a Saturday. Actually, came tennis racket made by France. I don't think they make high-end stuff and all that. I haven't done much research, but my computer's kind of down right now and stuff and all that, but... It seemed like it's all kind of kind of solid up in here and all that. I remember somebody saying something about that. So handle looks in good in shape. You know, this right here doesn't like as much wear from hitting the grass or the concrete or on a tennis court. So it looks pretty, you know, fairly clean, you know. So I mean, a lot of times you'll see rackets where you can just gash this, you know, where they're trying to hit the ball and all that. That's yes, it's a Prince Flash 26 Air. Air and all that, so paid a buck for it, you know, and all that. And all that. And a couple of items I sold on eBay. I sold, I bought these a couple, oh, it's been maybe six months ago, but you know, and all that. But I sold three, about three of these so far, and all that. And I got them, I don't remember what I'm selling them for. I paid a couple bucks for it, like a 12 pack. You know, I only had 11 in there, and all that. But um, it's going somewhere, I sold those. Uh, another item I sold was this ink. Oh, I don't think it was this one exactly, but I sold one. I got you know, a box full of them. And uh, I got payment waiting, sold this. They actually sent me an offer. I had it listed like for $26.50. And they sent me an offer $23.50, and I took it and all that. So hopefully they send me a payment on that. And I did sell my second item on Poshmark. If you saw my video from last week, these soccer shoes I bought, I won't mention the price, but I might have mentioned in there, sold them for 54 bucks on Poshmark. You know what, they're fairly clean, you know. You know, I got a little, a little bit of use, but like I said, sold those last, I think Friday night or Saturday, Saturday, yeah, Saturday, Saturday night, I think. You know what, so, Yahoo and that. And I think that might be it, people. Uh, just thank you for watching and all that. I'm not sure exactly when I'm going to post this video yet. Tonight is a six-pack show. I don't remember who's hosting it or not. And all that. Last night was Gwaine MSP show. I didn't get to see that. 
know that. But um, thank you for watching. I hope I start doing a video every Saturday and Sunday when possible. Thank you for watching.